Coming up into this field we call the bean field. It's got a nice little knoll in the middle of it when you walk around the corner there. And we like to go and listen there because you can hear both ridges just for a long way around you. I'm telling you what, these two birds were on fire. And we thought it was one originally. And then the other one that was with him sounded off simultaneously. We were running a little bit late this morning, so the sun was creeping on up and daylight was peeking through the trees pretty good. So me and Ryan made the executive decision, hey, let's uh, creep up a little bit more. We just eased along the wood line real close, tucked into the woods there. So that way it kind of broke up our shadows a little bit and, and wasn't so prominent out in the open. Ryan made this, the point, he said, man, we need to ease up a little bit further so that way, you know, they can at least see the decoys. And so glad he mentioned that because if we would have sat where we were originally going to sit, those birds would have never seen us, would have just simply followed the hen that they were with. But since we made that move, we got those decoys up high enough that eventually they were able to see them. They kept coming. I thought, man, this hen's gonna take them away. <laughs> they were gobbling at every breath, every breath. Every time we hit the call, hammered. <laughs> a lot of times when you're hunting these turkeys, having a hen in the field with you, Nine times out of ten, those long beards are going to go with the hen, rightfully so. <laughs> but we called both of those birds off of a hen. They just kept coming, gobbling, spitting, drumming, strutting. It was just the most beautiful morning I could possibly imagine. even contemplated not bringing a gun this morning and Ryan was like man if there's a chance to get a double you need to bring a gun And Don Sr., me and him were sitting right next to each other, and we thought, well, you know, um, if we can double, we might as well double.
know, we was rolling through there waiting on Ryan to call the shot. These birds just kept coming, kept coming, and then they saw the decoys. And they just went out of strut, heads went down. They took off running with our two little velociraptors coming across there. And at that point, I knew it was over. They just run right in, right in front of us, 20 yards, sidestepping, I mean, putting on a show. It was just the most exhilarating experience ever. We just doubled, boys. We oh. just doubled. Three birds, two days. Check us out in Tennessee, Sinker Creek Ranch, babe. How's that for a first turkey, Don Senior? That was awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Here you go, Daddy O. Thank you. Look yeah, at that's the spurs, a, look at the on, spurs on that thing. Those are bigger than this one. I was gonna stay in bed today. Were you <laughs> were, were, were you shaking when they started walking up that close? Actually, no, I wasn't shaking. I was more concerned about which one was gonna be where when yeah. you said okay. Yeah, that's why I was waiting until they stepped beside each yeah. other. And I was like, yeah. Yo. yeah. Three, two, one. I mean, we pulled the trigger at the exact same time. Yeah. I've so never good. been so in sync with another person shooting a double of turkeys. Usually there's a little bit of a delay, but me and him were spot on. I'm pretty sure we pulled the trigger at the exact same time. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it don't happen no better than that. I mean, it just absolutely does not happen any better than that. God, thank you so much for blessing us this morning, blessing us yesterday morning, God. Thank you so much for your creation. And God, I just pray that you would look over us. Oh, this would happen again, God, over and over and over, and we can show our children, God. And Lord, I just thank you so much for the meals that you have provided with these two birds. And God, I pray these things in your holy name. Amen. 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 You know, neither one of these guys had killed a bird before. So not only was it special because it was a double, and we called two Easterns off of a hen, but it was so cool to sit there and experience both of them shooting their very first long beard ever. We get out there, you know, Ryan's running that camera. We're on our way back. We get to this nice curve in the road close to the lodge and man, these birds were hammering on the mountain, hammering. We got across the creek there and struck out a little yelp, a little cut, see if we couldn't get them to fire back up, and they hammered. <laughs> we walked up about 100 more yards, and there's a little draw there in between two ridges, and I thought, man, I'm gonna see if we can hit them here. And we get to where those two ridges meet, and I was thinking, like, what do we do? Do we stay in this little valley here? And Ryan said, why don't we hit that ridge on the left there? And instantly I was like, let's do it, let's go ripping up it and we get about three quarters of the way up and i was like hey let's call real quick to make sure you know they're not right on top of us and we bust them or something i called and those birds were had to have been 40 yards or less and so i go into full-blown excitement panic mode whatever you want to call it and i'm like we need to sit down right now and ryan said yes we do when turkeys are gobbling like that they are very killable 
because they're obviously not with hens and they're looking for hens. So if you can position yourself right, you can pretty well have a good chance of taking them out. I was sitting over there nervous as a cat because I thought, man, I've got to get this dang kill shot for him. After all he does for me, I've got to get this kill shot for him. So I stopped calling and they just keep gobbling, keep gobbling, drumming, spitting, and I can't see them. And Ryan does, he said, oh, I see him right there. I was like, crap, I can't see him. He's behind the tree. They come in and they just keep getting closer and closer. So I try to adjust the camera a little bit and, and they were, I mean, they were right there, but he didn't have a good shot because there's a bunch of little saplings in there. They were bobbing them heads back and forth, looking their hardest for that hen. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We didn't have no decoys on this one. We went the purest route. No decoys, just a little mouth call on an FX6 and old 12 gauge with them Apex number nines in there. Ooh, bad day for that long beard, I'm just telling you. Finally, they come from left to right, and I've got them. I'm like, yes. Yeah! Yeah, yeah baby! Yes! Talk about a weekend of first. Very first time two guys ever killed a turkey. Very first bird that Ryan's ever killed in the state of Tennessee. And the very first bird that he's ever had filmed of him killing it. And I couldn't be more pleased to be the guy filming it for him. Woo! I was out for some action right there. Tennessee birds down, baby. Let him rest a bit. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. Old mountain bird right there. Look at that. Oh man. In the hills. That's a triple for the day. Oh my God. How pretty is that, huh? Wow. I mean, unbelievable. I'm speechless. So I moved to Tennessee about oh, just a, over a year and a half ago. Ben and I have been friends online for some time now. And uh, got into town and I don't know, I must have said something about being in Tennessee and Ben said, hey man, let's get some, let's get some lunch sometime. I said, yeah, that sounds good. And then uh, we did a little Easter together with the kids yeah so it's just been over a little bit of a year then and then uh we had a great time on easter with the families and uh ben and i are big family guys went to church had a good time and then we realized we had a lot in common we love chasing these birds right here a lot so this is the culmination of a lot of work for ben managing this beautiful land here at sinking creek you know wes and his family's you know passion you know, coming to life and, uh, you know, we just really been putting in the work, putting in the time. And uh, this is a special, special bird right here for me. You know, I didn't shoot a bird last year. I was just really focused on doing a lot of work with Ben and to come out and get two for the guys that 
we're taking out here and guiding this morning and Ben get a, get a bird this morning and then myself to top it off with a triple today. That's, that's four birds in two days. This is the second day of season opener in Tennessee and man, just what a, what a moment. I love chasing the birds on the hills like this. Ben just fired them up, made the right call, decided to come up this real steep terrain. Before we knew it, they were cutting that distance and just picked a good tree. With the mountain birds, uh, when you're on the downhill side and they're on the uphill, it can always get a little dicey because you can't see a lot of their head when they're coming through. And they were behind trees kind of weaving and then they got real silent once they cut that distance, which they do normally in the hills like this. And that's, that's where Ben played it smart. That's when you stop calling, you gotta get patient and wait for that opportunity. And man, hit him with a little bit of that apex. That's all she wrote. Let's go see these boys. They're gonna be excited to see this turkey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo, thank you, Ben. Thank you, brother. But I'll tell you what, being in the woods with you, with your buddies, your brothers, being in God's creation is something that can't be replaced by, by anything else. There's just something special about being in the turkey woods together, watching everything come alive, hearing those gobbles, and knowing that our God created all those things. In fact, in Genesis 27, 3 and 4, now this is just a, a paraphrase, I'm not quoting it word for word, it says, Go out to the field, take your bow and quiver, and hunt game for me. Bring it back and make a savory meal. And I live by that. 100% live by that. Oh my gosh. You killed it today, buddy. You killed it today. Here we go. Here's that walk of fame right here. Woo! We brought these birds back took some pictures, cleaned them up, and we are going to have a savory meal. Yeah. Woo. How was that, boys? That was awesome. awesome. <laughs> what a morning. Doesn't get much better than that right there. Four birds, four birds in two days, a triple this morning. It don't get no better than that. You know, I gotta give a big shout out to the Kennedys as well. Uh, they have given us one phenomenal opportunity here at Sinking Creek Ranch to to film here and to manage this farm and take care of it and you know sell hunts and everything that that we're doing here. So it's a great weekend, and we couldn't be more blessed to have what we have right now, which is four birds on opening day. down there on the other end on a uh, small little sapling, you know. So, I'm just gonna crush it. This old baby's the bulldozer. <laughs> just gonna crush her down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 